All right, FAQ number 88. What about Christian girls and sports? Well, if you've seen our earlier FAQ number 82 on should Christians be involved in sports, uh, you've seen some issues with the thing of the spirit of competition and, you know, all that other stuff. But again, for you homeschooling parents out there, if you have young girls and things, there's another aspect of sports that sports can become very immodest and it can cause actually gender confusion. And uh, again, my expert here going to be showing some photos from her past. Uh, you know, so anybody out there saying you're not qualified to talk about Christian girls. Well, I wouldn't be, you know, I mean, I'm a preacher. I can show you what the Bible says and that's qualifications enough, but I'll add the extra strength here of my wife giving you her past experiences. So I'll get started here. I'll be the uh, official photo shower guy again here. You can explain it. All right, this is, as you can tell from the title, this was my cross-country senior photo from the my last season of cross-country, my third and final season of cross-country by the time I graduated. And uh, as you can see, you know, extreme accentuation of body parts, you know, the, the muscular, you know, arms and everything, makeup right there with the, with the lipstick, you know. Yep, and way too short of shorts. Yes. Um, is there anything else in here? Is that just... I think that's it as okay. far as pictures of that. Now right. this is a whole bunch of other pictures. Um, I have to zoom in here a little bit. This, this was a typical gathering of all of us girls before each and every single cross-country meet during my freshman, sophomore, and senior years of high school. Yep. And uh, I'm right here, and as you can tell, you know, see-through uniform tops showing and accentuating the belly area, the stomach area. Mm -hmm. You know, extremely short and modest shorts. Um, Go to this next one. This one... Yeah. I can't. I have to move this thing okay. over here. This one, you know, shows my sister-in-law, Miss Chai Delta, you know, because she was involved in that when she was in her university years. Um, this was my why for the glory, you know, kind of a propaganda, subtle, subtle reference to pride, extreme pride from one of my cross country years, um, my freshman year, if I'm not mistaken. And can I end view there? I can't even tell. I'm going to do it this way. Yeah, that should be fine. There we go. And then this was another one of our uh, pre, pre race, pre start of the race um, functions that we did as a team. You know, we'd all join hands and say a little prayer, as the saying goes, but it was nothing like what a real Bible believing Christian, King James Bible believing Christian, would say for a prayer, you know. And, uh, like that? Yeah, that's fine. This is me on one of my one of my many cross country meets running downhill and of course uh you know the you think, Oh, running tights, they're modest. No they're not. They're just as immodest and accentuating of your body as the short shorts and the see through top right here. It was a fairly fairly warm day at the time. And uh you know, that's I'm right here again, if you can Put that I, I can't really put it down too much. Okay. Though. I'm right here at the start of the race. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, other pictures where during the race, uh, there's something called the last 800 meters. You push your hardest. You try your hardest to gain gain momentum and, uh, and uh, pick up where you left off so you can try and beat some more people towards the mm -hmm. end because the last 800 meters are the most critical. That's usually when people just die out. And, you know, again, at that point in time, you see somebody else dying out beside you, you're not going to stop and help them. Right. The spirit of competition is, I hope that person that's ahead of me, I hope they break their leg and fall down so I can be the winner. Exactly. Is that the kind of thing that you want your daughter being taught? Mm -hmm. Kind of weird. Especially a another peer your age, like right here, Jenny Robinson, who was a grade behind me from my school, I'm trying my best to catch up to her because that's, you know, 
all the parents of each of each student who who per, who participates and competes in sports they're like go so and so you know and so the whole time it's just you're basically out for blood is is all there is to it you mm-hmm. know see who can dominate who and it that translates to you know pride and boasting outside of the actual competition even if you're close friends with the person get that thing off to the side here and uh and this was i guess you could call it hazing after the one of the cross country meets because the seniors and the upperclassmen would take you know the lower classmen and just throw them in the in the lake or in the river as part of a an initiation into you know the clan the sports clan and this was at one of my track meets and i was i think i, I think i was warming up at that time and put put it down because it's kind of there you yeah. go um this was me uh, i think before my my meet i mean before my event started and i ran the open 100 meter dash at the time those were my that and the i anchored the four by 100 relay anchored the four by 200 meter relay at the time and uh again you know the infamous pose of pride like i'm the best like that picture mm-hmm and this is me getting ready to go in my starting blocks because they say that the starting blocks helps propel you forward in your race so which one is this is that you there yes that's me again right mm-hmm. there finding my lane and this one down here do that one. this is me trying to help out with the upperclassmen see if they needed me to hold their blocks and up here and this is me right here trying to catch this girl in front of me from either Shenandoah or Clorinda and uh, sports resonated even in my well this is the last picture the last few pictures of high school this was our flag football team yes I was wide receiver during that time and again that was pushed on me because of peer pressure from my classmates and you know some more photos of before and after cross country and track meets and this is <laughs> we have our screen kind of hard to see here this is uh you move the book okay i'll hold the screen this is me after one of my I think it was the Indianola track meet when I had just gotten done with my 200 meter dash race and I think that was my final race of the day you know with my Hawkeye 10 pride t-shirt at the time and this photo over here was my senior year track photo now you say oh that was only in your in your high school years no actually there's something called cheerleading which is a close relative of sports and athletic participation and dance classes and here are some photos from that right here you see i'm right here oh, move the thing then. i'm right there here you. and then this other photo is me again and so if you look into cheerleading it's tied in with sports competition it's tied in with dance and gymnastics and pride pride and yep. competition so you know I, I again you know one of the purposes of being in ministry is you know to you know we we tell people our testimonies so that we can save young people out there uh, the heartaches that we have gone through I've gone through plenty of problems myself my wife has gone through problems of her own things and stuff. And, and, you know, this stuff, a lot of it was, well, I shouldn't say a lot of it. All of it was not her choice. I mean, she was forced into it by overzealous parents and things that wanted her to perform. So parents, if you're out there and you have this spirit of pride that you want your child to perform and they, you have to do your best and you can't lose and all that, you got some problems, okay? Let your children, first of all, you should be teaching your sons to work. You should be teaching your daughters to work around the house, to be good keepers at home. And that doesn't, that's not some kind of a, oh, that's terrible. 
hey, the spirit of competition. Am I right? Yes. That's terrible. Been there, done that. You know, that spirit of competition of, of never feeling like you're good enough and I failed, I lost, I didn't do, you know, I didn't get first place and everything. And especially that, uh, where you're told you're compared with your siblings, why can't you be like your sister? Yeah, yeah. So it's just, it's a real bad thing. Again, you know, Christian girls in sports, not an option. 